हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका पनवर आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एंड दैट इज सुपरवाइज लर्निंग टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन विथ अनसुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन सुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग इन सुपरवाइज लर्निंग द डेटा लेबल्स आर नोन वेर एज इन अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग डेटा लेबल्स आर नॉट नोन टू अस सो वी गिव द अनलेबल डेटा टू मॉडल फॉर लर्निंग और ट्रेनिंग सो इफ द डेटा सेट इज गिवन टू अस देन अवर टास्क इन अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग विल बी टू एस्टेब्लिश द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ क्लासेस और क्लस्टर्स इन डेटा सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट दैट वी विल डिस्कस विद दिस एग्जाम्पल इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट दिस पर्टिक्युलर मॉडल इज ग्रुपिंग दीज इमेजेस इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज दिस डेटा इज एक्चुअली अनलेबल्ड दिस सिस्टम डजेंट नो दैट द पर्टिक्युलर इमेज ऑफ एप्पल बिलोंग्स टू एप्पल कैटेगरी दिस इमेज बिलोंग्स टू एवेकोडो कैटेगरी एंड दिस पर्टिक्युलर येल्लो इमेज येल्लो फ्रूट इमेज बिलोंग्स टू द लाइम कैटेगरी this system doesn't know that's why we call this data set as unlabeled data so when we give this data set to this model for learning this model try to find some characteristics from this images or from this data and from those characteristics it will group these images either in the red category fruit in avocado category or in lime category still it doesn't know that these images belongs to the lime category but based on the characteristics some similar characteristics it will group it will form the groups and clusters at the output that is nothing but the unsupervised learning so in this diagram you can observe that this is original unclustered data where as such no groups no clusters existing whereas once we give this data to unsupervised learning algorithm then it will try to find some common characteristics out of this data and it will form the clusters so in the second image now you can observe the clusters three clusters are from are formed from this data set first cluster is green cluster red cluster and blue clusters so this is how we can do the clustering by using unsupervised learning third type is reinforcement learning reinforcement in reinforcement learning there are some policies there is no supervised output but there is a delayed reward so learning from interaction with the environment is reinforcement learning with the help of this block diagram we can understand reinforcement learning where there is a environment which is physical world in which the agent operates there is a state where the current situation of the uh, agent is given there is a reward which is nothing but the feedback from the environment there are policies which are method to map the agent states uh, to action and there is a value which which is nothing but the future reward that an agent would receive by taking an action in a particular state so this based on the action taken by the agent this environment gives the feedback to the agent so that is in the form of reward so based on this reward the this agent will change its action that is nothing but reinforcement learning thank you all